Hey guys, I'm Top Gun, and we are back at the GUNN De OS Development Lab, and today we are going to be focusing on menus. But before we learn those, I want you to go on over to that like button and break your hand over it. Come on, you know you want to do it. Smash it, kick it, hit it, break it, destroy it. Anyways, back to menus. So, what I have here is an example from my GUNN OS system. Uh, we have Worm as our first game option, and then we have more one, more two, more three, and desktop. And of course, desktop, if, if I did have the Gun OS installed on this computer, uh, or on this uh, computer craft PC, then it would go back to desktop. But unfortunately, I do not have desktop on this PC, so... I have, but, uh, Worm is a good game to have, too, because if, if you use it, right, it will, once you're, you finish the game, it will go back to the last spot you were, so you will, it will bring you back to this game section, which is a good thing to be at. I, I'm not really sure how that works, but whatever. Anyways, um, so, uh, let's go... Let's go see how to do a menu. Now, if I go to Edit Menu, and I say uh, SI, uh, Local SID to make it only in this script, or actually, um, I'm going to set up a new computer for that, just for this, just for this reason, and just set it all up, you know? And we'll go edit startup or edit menu just so that it doesn't screw up. And um, we will say local SID equals zero, right? And then we'll go function menu to make a function ID text. And y you have to make sure SID is zero. So um, write that else write uh, uh, you know you can do whatever you want really you can do dash just to make sh just to so that they know that it's not chosen you know or you can do nothing and then you can say end uh, print or you have to say if SID is equal to ID then and then it ends the if statement here and then you go print text which will print what you had there right and then you say end and then you'll go you'll make a loop and you'll say while true do and pretty much this is where you do whatever you need to do, right? You set up your screen background. And it's not that hard to set up a screen background. Um, all I'm going to do is... Uh, make, like, a little uh, box. You know, for the menu. Nothing too special. Because right now, I don't have all the time for that, for a special thing. Print. Um, uh, and just keep on going down, I guess. I guess I'll have, like two or three options I only need about this yeah this is good so we have one option here and we have one option here then we'll have another space And then we'll have the end right here. And you can... I made my start menu this way too, so, uh... 
what you want to do uh, event comma key so you can pull an event equals os dot pull event pull event make sure that is a uh, capital capitals are crucial in coding never want to forget a capital and um, what you'll say you'll you will go menu uh, menu yep hold on let me so I noticed a flaw in what I was doing. Uh, what you have to do, you have to put the um, menu, s the menu selections up here first. So you're gonna do one. This is on line one, on space one. Uh, this is on line two, on space one. This is on line three, on space one. So you want to go space two, space three. Line three on space three, or three on space four, I guess, or four three, right? And then we'll go menu zero, and then the string that you want. So option one, option one, and then you'll go terms at set. We're only gonna have two options, right, for this one, because doesn't need to be anything fancy. And you can have it on. So this is line three, four, five, and four on line five. And then menu one option two, right? And pretty much from here, you take that, and then, oh, hold on, I'll... okay, so, back to menus, if, so what you want to write, you want to write, if key is equal to 200, then, so this, this, this 200 is actually the down arrow key, so, going down right not left not right not up down and uh, then you wanna write if SID is more than zero then um, then uh, write no, 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 no hold on then SID equals SID minus one right and then you go and uh, else if uh, and else if key is equal to 208, which is up, then SI if SID is more than 1, because I only have two options, if you have, you could have 0, right? I only have two options, so I have 0, which is here, you could put one if you really wanted and then this could be two or you could even make three options but that means you would have to put three of these menu things right i only have two which gives me two options so whatever it says here i put here so if sid is less than one then sid equals sid plus one and else if key is equal to 28, which is the enter key, then then uh, SID or if SID is equal is equal to zero, then uh, sleep one, right? And or uh, else if SID SIF SID is equal to one then sleep for one second and and oh you want to you want to go break actually no you want to go end right and and end and that should work, right? Menu, 
And then you have your menu, right? It's not that hard to make a menu when you really want to you really want to do it. And um it's not that hard to follow this uh this um and it works too. You you press enter and it waits for a second. You press enter and it waits for a second. Press up and it, even if you if you keep pressing up, it will not keep going. It will not go back to option 2 and go up and then go back to option 2 and go up again. It, it will just uh, stay there, right? So you only have about three options to do. You can do whatever you can make it do whatever you want. You can watch if you yeah, go back to edit menu. You can um, you can change your background to whatever you want because the background really doesn't affect your menu working. Um, you can add a menu. Like say I wanted to add a menu term dot set cursor I know a lot of people don't know how to add things like this so we'll go down to six right and then we will go menu menu two and option three right and then that gives us three options and then we will have to change this to two then we will have to make another option here else if SID is equal to 2 then sleep for or um, I guess uh, OS dot reboot you know or sleep sleep for w one second right and then OS dot reboot and then end and even even then you could make it say maybe uh reboot menu two reboot you don't have to make it say option three you know reboot and then you go back to menu and then you have three options and it works perfectly it's got the space in between you can put more spaces if you need uh option one does nothing at the moment right you can make it do whatever you want shell dot run whatever and reboot of course reboots the computer you can go back and you can you can make pretty easy os's with this too so um anyways that was how to make a simple slash moderate slash advanced menu I will see you in the next video.